Good morning, folks. You should recognize the zoomed-in wind map. This is Sandy, South Carolina to Ohio, well up into Canada feeling this right now. 20 billion in projected damage as of last night. That will go up. There are truly millions of people without power as trees, lines, poles, even houses are coming down. Massive storm surges have flooded New York City and coastal areas. Both the Indian Point and Nine Mile nuclear plants had to have shutdowns. Here's a quick look at the precipitation record set yesterday. It's quite the list. I will briefly mention this. Yes, they ran a drill for Hurricane Sandy in 1997 that would hit New York in October. Yes, they are modifying the storm, but they're doing so to make it less intense. The pressure says this should be a Category 4 or 5. It's nowhere close. It's impossible unless we're weakening it. Is it HARP? No. Arecibo, Nexrads, and Geoengineering Aerosols do all this work. It is not HARP. I have explained the difference many times. They couldn't be more different. Please direct all questions about the simulation here. It's their website. Top right, Songtin dying over southern China, leaving one final mark of destruction. Just southeast of India, the second tropical cyclone has appeared before their season begins, and it will hit the subcontinent. The Pacific low from yesterday got a little buddy, and we don't seem to know where either one is headed. We have another large aftershock at the site of the Canadian 7.7 .7 quake, a 6.2 that rang as high as 6.4 on some charts struck a few hours ago. We also had more earthquakes at the North Pole, an unusual 3.9 hit Arkansas. Tremors this far off the subduction zone have preceded big chilly quakes in Indonesia with their usual general swarm. Korea had to shut down a nuclear plant due to electrical failure. High wind and sandstorms are haboobing the UAE. And we had a moderate volcano eruption in Costa Rica and brutal spring storms for Argentina. Solar wind. We are dropping to very quiet levels. I consider 300 kilometers per second to be baseline speed and we're going even lower. It will be a big jump if it's still this low for the CME impact on its way from two days ago. We have a dark coronal hole turning towards us here and the North Pole coronal hole is angled a bit this way as well. They'll face Earth just before our next set of significant planetary positions, another minor quake watch. We have a bright new active region to watch as it comes over the southeastern limb, and lastly, those filaments I was telling you about. They just erupted. Tomorrow I will update this, but it's center disk. Any eject is coming right at us. Eyes open, no fear. It's about 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.